Tony Hall, but it didn't. And Ballybra, or Six Mile Bridge, have been awarded a free. It'll be taken by John O'Connell. Here comes John. John Lynch having a look, but well blocked down once again by Coughlin. James E. Coughlin there outside to Tony Hall. He's hurling tenaciously. He's fast striking his a feat that they'll be watching here today, the Limerick selectors. On the go again, in each lift. Is it inside to Kenny and whether Kenny was fouled or not? I think he was, but nevertheless, the play goes on. John Chaplin, one of three, three brothers on the team, two playing, there's one of some. Down towards John Lynch again. Lynch is trying to turn, turn Shane Adams. He's got inside Adams. A dangerous one. Ali O'Connor blocks it. Ali is there. Remember, he's playing in half forward. He's playing tenaciously today. Out comes Jamesy Coxon. Hurts Tony Hall. Tony losing it there. Got inside to John Lynch. Lynch is striking it. A dangerous one in towards O'Reilly. Blocking it down. John. John Kenny played a tremendous game against Tenalti Ross Moore. Joe O'Connor going for it. All O'Connor. Sixes and sevens created around that back then. A moment, a little Ali O'Connor. Has the pass gone a bit too far for Tony Hall? No. Hall has got speed for wild pulling there. Tony Hall will wins himself for free. And I've no doubt Tony will be hitting this one himself. This game being played at an unbelievable pace. There goes Tony Hall. Almost 17 minutes gone in the game. The score is six points to one. Curtin, Pat Daverton has the ball in his hand. Cleared out again. The incoming Joe Mann failing to lift it. Curtin's Kenny and Sean Stack. In fact, that wasn't Sean Stack. I would think it would be Pat Morley. Well, he's taking the name of Curtin's Kenny. But I've no doubt the injured party on the ground would win an Oscar if he was in the Gacy Theatre tonight. Ali Brown have an uphill battle. They're well used to it. They had a tremendous game against Clanalty Ross Moore. Keep harping back in that game because that was where Bally Brown showed their tremendous heart and tremendous fire. Six points to one in favour of Six Mile Bridge. They're just a few miles out the road. The very same as Bally Brown. They're near neighbours. In fact, that was Jojo Murphy that was on the ground. Here comes John O'Connell. John with a long and a dangerous one. It's going to the right and gone wide. Well, certainly, here comes Francis O'Reilly. I'm just looking at Ali O'Connor there off of your camera. Ali is putting in a tremendous amount of work so far, and that ball coming out towards Ali again, and Paul O'Connor, and battling for it with him is Pat Morley. Joe O'Connor, Joe gives it down towards Kelton Skinny. Big pair, beautiful control from him. He has a look, that's a dangerous one, he's hooking in. It went well, it looked very dangerous all of the way in. But nobody there for it, and it went to the left and went wide. Here comes David Fitzgerald. Six mile bridge around the attack again. A dangerous one. Sailing in there. Lynch is there battling for it. Did he slip? Sorry, Shane Adams gets it out. And look where Ali O'Connor is. Tremendous work from Ali. Terrence gives it a pass in towards Pat David. And David had it, but. Eventually taken away from him by Noel Early. Well blocked down. The heart of Belly Brown is hypnotized there. And David and Tony Hall. Here comes Tony making room, creating the chances, going towards pa Sean Stack. Sean Stack was a member of the player team for so many years. Captain of the Six Mile Bridge team in 84. On the ball now. Diddy Cliff. Here comes Diddy inside the Coughlin. He's blocked down. And over there, battling for it again, is Sean Stack. 
the school teachers teaching down in Shannon and a long delivery from him sailing down but Ollie O'Connor look at little Ollie this point this time it's taken away from him Lynch gives it inside to McInerney on the attack again he had it in his hand but lost it they seem to have time Flan Quinlevin Quinlevin with a shot and they had all the time of the world that time sailing and going wide And Christy Keyes is making his way in, getting the instructions there. We'll be back with Christy in a minute, and Christy Keyes is coming into the action. Christy is coming in. And it's Eddie Cliff, I think, who is making his way off of the team. We're back with the action, the centre of the field. Pat Morley. Gives it down towards Jody McInerney. I think the last time we saw McInerney playing was in 87 in the championship game against Tipperary. He gets a shot this time and it's gone to the right and gone wide. The PA system coming in there and just as we have a minute, the similarities in 84 Six Mile Bridge beat the champions, beat the Clare, beat Clare Castle, in fact, in their county final, they did the same this year. We'll be back to that in a minute. Tony Hall, a beautiful side step from him. His pass goes astray, but Terrence Kenny is there recuperating, trying to get that ball up. Big tear along with Ali O'Connor. Look at little Ali. If there was ever a bumblebee in the Cayley grounds, there's one here today in the form of Ali O'Connor, outside to Tony Hall. Once again, doing a lovely little jib and dabble. John always wouldn't get a look. John O'Connell going for the ball along with Shane. With Shawnee Hayes clearing it out the wing this time is James E. Kelp. Flank Leo Quinlan. A long one in the field there. That's a good one from him. Giving it inside towards John Lynch. And that's a free. You can't do it. It's Willie Barrett, the referee. free there and you can see Francis O'Reilly going to take it. Valley Brown who beat Dune here in this very field in the county final to win it for the first time ever this year. Here comes Colin Coughlin trying to make an angle for himself. Gives it in towards John O'Connor, Shawnee Hayes. Shawnee Hayes going for a long with Christy Keys. Getting it somewhat mixed up there between them, but Six Mile Bridge get the ball away. Whipping further, Paul O'Connor. Here comes his brother Joe, and this time that one just going away from him, out over the line. A line ball, and Pat Morley, and there you can see Tim Crow. Tim in that blue jacket just gone off of your camera there. He was involved with training of Limerick teams for a good number of years too. Joe O'Connor trying to get in front. Not alone does he get in front, he gets the ball. Gives it inside to Pat Davin. Ali Brown, can the engineer score? Davin puts on the pedal. He's on the move. He's coming inside. Trying to get in. Gives it outside to Christy Keys. Christy with a shot and Christy with a point. The ball has gone over the bar. And one could almost see Pat Daverton put the paddle to the muddy and really accelerate towards goal. Christy Keyes hitting his first point of the game since he came in. Two points for Belly Brown, six for six mile bridge. Down towards Paul O'Connor. Leo Quellman. Quellman. Here comes Joe. He knows he has a job to do today. Gives it a out towards Ollie. A beautiful catch from Ollie. He stays in the air well away from him, Paul O'Connor, Joe Mann, here comes Josie Mann, Joe is on the run, Joe has got the ball in his hurry, he's a hard man to get it off, gives it to Big Terror, Big Terror and Sean Stack, it's Terror who has the height, he's got the advantage, whips it inside towards John O'Connor, the six mile bridge full back, chasing forward with him is Colin Coughlin, turns left handed and whips it, towards Paul O'Connor, Three Bally Brownmen, one would wonder who's got the advantage at this stage. Down towards Christy Keys and Kieran O'Shea, and that one is going to be a free. A free there for Six Mile Bridge. 
This game is going at an unbelievable pace here in this Gaelic grounds. A tremendous game. John O'Connell is going to take it. 